Hey guys Trickshot here. I'm really sorry I have to make this video NTTS, and mainly for the lack of videos. Anyway today I'm going to be showing you how to make future base like Alenium, Seven Lions, and Slander, Kina. Usually in my more melodic songs like Mythic and Raze I start with some nutty drums. Mainly the key for this is to find yourself a heavy kick. A insane almost pan like snare. Then cymbals. I think for other FX and build up drums you should keep it very chill. Some orchestral backgrounds toms and some light risers should do the trick. For melodic elements and instruments I started doing something that Derpka told me to do, which is to make every sound unique from each other. There's a lot of sound design and other little mixing decisions I made that I will go through when we get to that instrument. First things first I want to talk about the chord stack, which I have seen a lot of people mess up. In general I'm going to be using my method of making everything unique. First is going to be a general super saw with two in it saws in serum with unison at eight with a little detune and multiband compressor. As for mixing I have a EQ cutting just the sub frequencies and a OTT. Second I added a super square which I turned the two saws into squares using the wavetable editor same as before with plus eight unison and a little bit of detune. As with this patch I put one of the oscillators at plus one pitch. Using the same mixing as before instead I have a EQ cutting out most of the bass including the low mids. The volume is also lower. Last I have a 3x oscillator playing straight white noise. This will be all of our high end in our chord stack. For mixing I turned it down until I can just barely hear it in the stack with of course OTT and a EQ leaving only highs. This is what it sounds like altogether. Next for the bass stack I have a sub and a sawtooth bass. I have added a sound judizer and a EQ cutting most of the bass frequencies that we can't hear and all the bass that doesn't belong in the sub. This gives you an extremely clean sub and I recommend you do this regardless of the genre you're making. As for the sawtooth bass I cut only the sub and added a OTT. Here's what they sound like. Next for the lead I changed the wavetable to a square as before. Then I deselected BPM on LFO1 and then dragged it to A. Fine. I recommend setting it to 30 to 40 to get that nice melodic effect. As for the FX panel I have a hyper dimension, delay, and a multiband compressor. Here's what the lead sounds like. You don't have to, but I recommend adding vocal chops. Any will do, but personally I think that slow and reverby chops will work best. Here's a part of the song using different vocal chops. See easy like your mother. Now to make vocal chops you simply have to open up Splissux, toss a acapella into that shit, and boom in the piano roll you have a full set of vocal chops at your disposal. 
I recommend looking for either little phrases or vowels. A, E, I, O, U. You can also mess with the pitch by double clicking on the note, and on the far right you will see fine pitch. These are the chops I decided to go with in the end. With all that said here's the final result. Before I end the video I would like to give a shout out to Junos, he is an insanely talented producer that just recently started his YouTube channel up. He has two videos up so far regarding melodic rhythm and future rhythm, has also pretty funny so make sure to go check him out, and also check out Mason Kansadine. Another super underrated producer Hoss Music was playing in the background of this video. Anyway the download to the FLP will be available in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it for more content like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.